Shabbat Shalom. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rechakwadash. Double honors unto the elder apostles of the great millstone and many told us this truth. Much love, greetings, and salutations to the elect tabernacle of David scattered through all the four corners of the earth are holding on all right, to this faith you know, that was a given as a gift from the Most High. And, uh, you know, I'm just responding to this video, you know, done by one of the brothers in the, uh, the Charlotte camp, which, um, you, know, you had a guy, you know, he was in there for a little while, but, um, I guess, you know, for whatever reason, you know, he decided to, uh, fall out, you know, after having, have been suspended. And, um, I guess he was offended at something and, you know, lo and behold, the guy is out of there and, you know, he's back full fledged into the world. And that's a scary thing because, you know, we're at the time now where uh, things are finally happening. You know, the things that we've been speaking for all these years, you know, we're finally starting to see it, you know, manifest. And um, you would think a guy that's in this thing and witnessing what's going on, that a guy would actually be more emboldened to stay in this faith and push even harder. But instead, you know, you got guys that are wavering at the last minute. And that's a scary thing, man. All right, and like one of the one of the scriptures that he uh, called for that he brought out, you know, many of us are called in this, into this thing, all right, but only a few of us will be chosen. So that's something to uh, you know be critical about, all right. So um, I want to get a quick scripture because um, it's very important that we have the discipline to have longe longevity in this thing. If you don't have uh, longevity, more than likely you're not rooted. Okay, and in some way, fashion or or, or form, uh, you will not last in this thing. All right, and we've had you know many examples throughout the years. The elder apostles they've seen examples throughout the years, and um, even though we're at the end of this thing, I still don't mean that you know there's gonna be, there isn't gonna be any more you know, men falling away, all right? The Satan is going to try every last one of us, man. All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 24 says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that you may obtain, all right? And, um, you know, <clears throat> it's like the marathon, man. We all got to keep running. We got to have that spiritual longevity. You gotta just keep running until you finally get to that finish line. You're gonna have a lot of people that's gonna give in, and they're gonna run out of breath, and they're gonna basically walk off the track. All right? But if you want the kingdom, you gotta make it all the way to the end. That's why it says, the Shai said, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So it says, so run that you may obtain. All right? Because, you know, the the the, the path that we're taking is very narrow that only one man can enter in at once. Like it tells us a second that you're seven. So it's going to be pretty difficult. And that path is going to be full of, you know, bumpy roads, hurdles, impediments. You know, you turn to the left, to the right, you know, there's temptations everywhere. All right. And this particular brother, you know, which I, I never knew the brother, of course, but I, 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 I am familiar with him. I, I did used to see him, you know, in their videos at camp, you know, pulling out precepts. So he was in the race at one point. All right. And that's, you know, that's experience for those brothers to see men that they were close to, you know, fall out of this thing. Man. Another casualty in this war. You know, I've, I've experienced the same thing where, you know, you know, there's two guys that started, you know, in this particular camp, even though my camp is, you know, fairly small. It's not, a, it's not many of us, but, you know, we started off, you know, with, with, uh, a few guys and you know they're they're no longer around you know we watched it happen man but me and another particular brother the second in command you know we just you know that that put fear on us and we could just continue to to you know push forward man and that's how we all supposed to be man if somebody you know if there's a, a casualty among you you, know, you still gotta you know push forward man because you you trying to seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling right so run, all right, that you may uh, obtain that prize, man. And what is that prize? The light at the under the end of the tunnel is the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, everlasting life. 
that that palm, that that crown that Yahushua is going to put on your head. All right, your name being written in heaven. Okay. It says, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things, and and to have temperance means to have self discipline. All right, when you examine, you know what it is that you're doing. I think that one of the scriptures it says in the apocrypha, you know, uh, there are certain things that might be evil for you, and you know you aren't going, you're not going to know unless you try it out to see if it's good for your soul. Let me see if I could try to find that. <clears throat> Let's go to Sirach. Yeah, it might be 37, but I'm not sure. Let me check. Yep, Sirach 37 and uh, 27, it says, My son, prove thy soul and thy life. You know, try try your soul, man. You know, see what things are a stumbling block unto you. And if it is a stumbling block, like Yahweh Shai said, you know, if your eye cause you to fend, pluck it out. All right? Anything that causes offenses and it can cause you to stumble, you know, out of the path and away from your salvation, you might want to get rid of that, man. And um, from what I can understand, the brother was mentioning how, you know, he was around, you know, another guy who used to, you know, he was informed of the truth, but he couldn't get it. But that particular dude, he was around him instead of around those brothers. So the demons from the world that was on the man that he was around jumped on him. So this guy, he, he was being tested, you know, being around worldly dudes and ended up ended up uh, catching them as a snare. He got seduced, man. And when those demons hopped on him, you know, um, he 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 lost that fire, man. He had no thrill, you know, for this for this uh, word anymore. All right, and those pleasures, those old worldly pleasures that he had, you know, it came back full fledged on him. And that's the thing when you fall out. Those demons are waiting at the doorstep, man. They waiting literally at the door to to get in. And once you you know throw in a towel, so to speak, once you put down the plow, that's basically you unlocking that door to your mind. And you know the, the demons is waiting at your door. The the demons that were on you before, and then they even got extra other spirits. And the scriptures even talk about that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get that next, but that goes to show that's what'll happen, you know, when you uh forsake this ministry, when you uh turn your back on Yahweh Shai and you crucify him afresh, that's exactly what you get. All right, but uh let me let me finish this real quick. You know, and this uh this still applies to us, you know. Anything that causes us to 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 be offended, you know, which to be offended means to to stumble, to to something that's a stumbling block unto you. All right. It could be, you know, having too much pleasure in a particular thing. And it's causing you to have more time, spend more time and energy with obtaining that rather than, you know, spending your time and energy, you know, with, with this wisdom. All right, trying to uh, seek to please uh, the Most High. It says, my son, prove thy soul in thy life and see what is evil for it and give not that unto it. And that's what you call having discipline. Being able to abstain from certain things that can, you know, uh, take your, your your affection, you know, off of this truth. All right. Colossians 3 and 1, set your affections on the things above and not on the things on the earth. All right. Mortify your members, crucify your flesh, just like the Lord. You know, he he no longer, he, well, he never served the flesh. All right. He, he armed himself with the spirit, man, and that's how we got to be. All right. This guy, he basically lost the spirit and he got weak once you lose the spirit you know you get weak you become faint-hearted and then you just go back into the world or either two things you fell on stony grounds or you fell on uh, uh thorns briars and thorns man which when you fall on stony grounds that represent those you know who couldn't handle you know being in this thing for a while you know it's, it's said that they dwarf uh dearth for a while but, you know, uh, tribulation or rise of or, or uh, temptation, they become offended and they, they, they fall. You know, it could be, you know, they losing uh, 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 jobs or, you, you know, you don't lost your woman. 
you know, people in the world that you, you know, actually have a, a feelings for, you know, they're, they're trying to uh, seduce you to come out of the world, you know, or you getting persecuted or whatever the case may be, things are going bad for you. So you say, you know what? I think it's the truth that's causing all this evil. So I can't handle it no more. So I'm, I'm out. You know, I got to find myself in the world. It was a dude like, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, we started off with two dudes who, who've been long gone. But um, one of those guys, you know, he was, it's like he was envying what he was seeing in the world because back in the world, he used to gangbang and trap and all that too. All right. And the, 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 the last days that he was in this thing, you know, he was envying, you know, certain dudes in the world that was pushing nice whips and, you know, he couldn't understand why he couldn't be in the truth and have all these great things, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with having nice things. He wouldn't have been going off for having it, but he was just envious that, you know, he, the type of job that he had, the hustle that he had, you know, it wasn't, you know, uh, giving him that lifestyle, you know? So basically the cares of his life. And, and the riches of this world, he choked it, and he became uh, un, unfruitful, unproductive, to where, you know, he started to, you know, cut time with, you know, with brothers, and and, and studying, and, you know, because I actually roommated with him, and I actually watched him, and it, it took me as a brother to try to lift his spirit, you know, I would try to uh, set it up to where, like, hey, bro, you know, I know you're tired, but, you know, can we at least get an hour in, bro, let's, you know, let's, let's read, you know, let's, Let's uh, go over questions, you know. And at this time, even um, the apostles was giving out uh, homework for for all the camps. You know, you had GMS homework, and um, you know, he would he would be lagging, man. He would rather, you know, he would work his uh, regular job, his nine to five, and then he would go out there, you know, after he come in for about an hour or two, shower up, you know, probably rest his, you know, rest up a little bit. Then he would basically head back out to the Las Vegas Strip, you know, where he would pr uh, promote. You know, he was working, uh. uh you know, this uh, hustle where, you know, they get people into these uh, strip clubs, you know, and if per person, if you get them to get a limo ride to the strip club, you get paid, you know, $20, $30, $40 a head, you know, uh, to that, to those men that actually uh, go to the to the club. So he used to be out there almost every night. Sometimes he would even go on a Shabbat and I'd be like, hey, bro, you ain't got to do that, bro. Have have more faith in y'all by Shemi Shai, man. You know, chill out, bro. And, and and maybe, you know, the Lord will bless you if you trust in him and, you know, keep his his uh his high holy day, man. Keep keep the Sabbath, bro. You can at least do that. And a few times, you know, he'd done that. And um he would actually go out the, the, the next day and then he would basically come back and say, Hey, bro, the, the most I looked out. You know, I I got I got uh heads today and I got paid. Like I got some decent money. So you'd be able to, you know, uh, pay, pay the bills and whatnot. But then, you know, he, his faith would, would waver, you know? So really, you know, he didn't really have full faith, man. He didn't, he didn't trust on the Lord. All right. And he ended up falling back into the world. You know, he was surrounded by the, you know, the dudes in the world. And then it got to the point where if we, if, if, if me and the other brother, we would go out there and walk, we would know, we basically, we lost contact with him. And we would run into one of the dudes that he would uh, be out there hustling with. He know more about his whereabouts and what's going on with him than we did. And we were supposed to be his, his brothers. That's how we knew. Oh, yeah, that guy, he's out of there, man. The world and swallowed him up. All right. And then the next thing you know, he's back smoking weed. He got, a, you know, he got a, a, a big ass tattoo on his neck. All type of shit, man. You know, and if I could find a video, I'd, I'd actually uh, repost it, man. And that'll, and, and that'll, you know, you'll see it that, hey, man, this thing is not a game. You know, and those demons, they're waiting outside your door. Okay. So, you know, the scriptures say to, to prove your soul, you know, and see what is evil for it and give not unto it. It says, verse 28, it says, for all things are not profitable. For all men neither have every soul pleasure in everything. You know, and it could be even uh, music. It could be weed smoke. You know, that was a demon that was on you. You know, it could be, uh, you know, these women. You know, at this point, you should be settled with, if you got, if, if you have a woman, you should be settled with that woman. All right? 
And if you and if you don't have a woman, then um, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting you a woman, but you should be in the mindset of, you know, this thing is about to about to pop off, man. You know, you should still have, you know, uh, the the will of Yahbashim Yahusha in your mind. Those that have wives be as though that you have none. And those that don't, you know, you if you you are, are, are not bound to a wife, hey, <laughs> you know, don't 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 you don't have to seek one at the moment. But if you're burning, then hey, get you a wife. All right, but hey, seeing what times we in, man, hey, it's time to go full throttle with this thing. All right, nothing should should slow you down in the process of uh, uh putting in this work. Because if you you start to uh, get lukewarm, the Lord have no need of you. He will he will split you out real fast, man. All right. So going back to uh First Corinthians nine. All right, he that is temper temperate. All right, he he has a uh, discipline. He knows what his stumbling blocks are, and he doesn't give himself to it. All right, it says, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things, but now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. So you got men in the world that are very disciplined when it comes to you know sports and entertainment, and they do it to get that Heisman Trophy, the MVP, to get the ring, to get the Oscar, or whatever the case may be. That's all corruptible. That's going to go up in missile smoke. But what about doing it for the incorruptible, you know, which is uh, everlasting life, something that no man can take from you. You earned it. Right? It says, I therefore so run, not as cert uncertainly, you know, somebody that's uh, wavering, they're not really sure, you know, they just uh, in the, in, in the, uh, in the, in the, um, the emotion, they're in their emotions, right? And they're just, you know, uncertain, man. Don't be like that, man. Understand the destination that you're trying to uh, uh, get to. Uh, you're trying to get to the end of this thing so you can receive salvation. It says, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. And a lot of dudes that came into this thing, you know, like like this this uh, former brother in question, uh, because he didn't make it to the end, you know, he's not in the, in the race anymore. It was like he, he was beating the air, man. You know, what good is that? When you allow Satan to just cold cock your ass, man, he just, he just <laughs> knock you the hell out, man. You know? No, this, this thing is a fight and you got to fight until the end. It says, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, all right, and, he, and all these guys that fell over the years, they all preached, you know, for years on them, on them highways and hedges, man. They was preaching all that to other people. Hey, man, hey, the Most High Yahweh Shem is going to kill you if, you know, if you continue to, 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 to commit sin and you don't repent and this and that and, you know. They they had all that to say. They had all the precepts in the world to bring out. They cussed out other guys that were going off or may have fell out, and here they are. They back in the world. You know, now they're in uh, uh, outer darkness, man. And the Lord's gonna point them with the hypocrites, and that shall be a a, a, a welling and, and gnashing of teeth, man. All right. It says, "I myself should be a castaway." You don't want to be a castaway, man. You know, somebody who the Lord rejected. Cause that's a scary thing, man. When Yahweh Shai do return, what, what does it say? Matthew 7 and 21. Not every mighty that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom. The Lord's going to reject you, man. I, depart from me. I never knew you. Ye that work iniquity. Why? Because you fell, you fell away. All right? You, you knew the truth. And you still, you know, you sinned, man. You sinned willfully. All right? This is uh, Hebrews 10. And 26 it says, for if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversary. So basically, there's no mercy on a man that falls out of the truth. That's pretty much it. Because Yahweh Shai is not going to come back down and down that cross for you again. All right. He did that once. To make that to to make an atonement, you know, for our sins, man. And then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna uh, 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 trample the blood of the covenant of Yahweh Shai, 
you know, like it, like it has no worth. Verse 28, he that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. So it's like you're basically cursed like you're still under the law. That's how you're going to be treated, all right, in the eyes of the Lord. Verse 29, of how much sower punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought worthy who have trodden underfoot the son of the Most High and have counted the blood of the covenant? Yeah, because the Lord died for your fucking ass, man. Excuse my language, you know, but you, what the Lord have to endure and go through only for your ass to just, you know, because of a piece of ass or because of a fucking music contract, you know what I'm saying? Or, or something in the world because of a damn uh, 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 Audi or whatever new vehicle, you know, that, that you covet after. That's more worthy than the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. So you're going to eat a missile, man. The Lord ain't finna come back and deliver your ass. It says, wherewith he was sanctified on unho an unholy thing and have done despite it to the spirit of grace. Man, you was given grace, man. The Lord actually was giving you time to actually get yourself right, man. You know, all you had to do was just endure, you know, the afflictions just like he did. And the glory that you was going to receive if you remained and stayed steadfast it would have been far greater than this bullshit that you covet after on this earth. None of this shit has any value, man. It's all about to go pass away in, in, in missile fire smoke, man. It says, for we know him that have said, vengeance belongeth unto me. I will re recompense, saith the Lord again. The Lord shall judge his people. Yeah, and the Lord's going to judge two-thirds of, of his people, man. That's how he's going to plead with you. All right? He's going to plead with all flesh. It says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And that's what happens, man. Okay? He fell into the hands of the living power, man. Now Satan got him. Now those uh, other unclean spirits are on him. Because they, they be waiting right at that door, waiting for the door to unlock. As soon as they, as soon as they have an opening, you know, once uh, uh, the Lord leave that opening, because, you know, when you come into this thing, you know, you get this truth, the Lord clears out you know, the house. And then once you get this truth, it's like he closes that door and, and, and basically you become closed-minded, you know, uh, 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 to the world and, and open-minded to the truth. Then he shuts that door so that no, nothing else enter in, you know, lest there be uh, another unclean spirit bringing, you know, uh, uh, false ideologies into your mind, which, you know, that can pull you up. But, you know, the Lord has shut that door and have you just, you know, in his faith, are right, speaking nothing but the truth, and then, you know, if, if you fall, you fall away, you do something wicked. What happens? Those demons be waiting for you, man. Waiting to plague your mind, bring all type of uh, wayward I ideas into your mind. You know, and you be you. Next thing you know, you know, you 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 fall right back into the world. You start thinking just like the world, man. Let me get a uh, Matthew twelve and was it forty three? And I watched what happened to, you know, the guy that was in this camp. He was an Ephraimite, all right? He was envious of the world. He kept spending more time out there trying to get that, get to the bag, you know, because he had a son that he, you know, was trying to look out for. You know, he had uh, fell out with his, his baby mama. You know, she was a heathen, by the way. She she was, that was a, she was a demon, you know? And, he, you know, he had his son and he couldn't, he, he Basically, he felt like there was no other way, you know. So he 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 didn't have uh, faith in Yahweh Shem Shai, man. So he he basically went back into the world, and those demons they came on him heavy, man. His whole countenance changed, man. When we ran it, me and her brother Shaquat bumped into him, you know, uh, almost a year after he fell out, and a dude he you could just know you could just tell the spirit was going out of him, man, because he didn't even look the same. You know, dark ass lips, like he'd been you know smoking up a storm. You know, this is a verse 43 it says when the unclean spirit is going out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. And that's when, you know, when you first come into the truth, you've been you've been uh, cleansed. You know, how, how shall a man uh, cleanse his way by taking heed there there to unto the word. So when you uh, uh, come into the truth. 
you know, your whole mentality uh, changes. You become a new creature in Yahweh Shai. So those demons basically uh, uh, flee away, man. Showing you how powerful this word is. But once you go wrong and you entertain, you know, the things of this world and that, that evil spirit of unbelief enter into you, then that's when the Lord be like, all right, well, I'm, a, I'm about to leave you uh, vulnerable. Then. I'm going to leave you open then. Uh, you, you can't, you're not one of my servants because you, you care for the things of this world. You don't have trust in me, so hey, I'm gonna leave you open. And lo and behold, them demons be like, "Fuck yeah, <laughs> let's let, let let's go." And they and they just invade, man. All right, they come in with their amps, they come in with their speakers, <laughs> they come in with the party lights. You know, they come in with the with the big bag of a uh, 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 cheese and, and nacho cheese and, and and tortilla chips, and 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 bud ice, man, hot dogs and shit, and they and they have a party. In your mind, man. It says, then he go up and take with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Okay. And so, hey, you, your, your mind gets invaded by all those demons. And that's why you'll bug out. You'll start to think that, you know, what it is that you're doing in the world, you think that there's nothing wrong with it. Like you're not sinning. And that's what's scary about, you know, the state of those that fall out, man. All right, you become a straight up reprobate. You willfully go off and you don't even see it, you know. And you got guys that's that think that they're still in the truth after they fell out years ago and they still, you know, you know, popping up. They still around, you know, trying to, you know, put their face out there. But hey, man, them demons will, 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 will they, they will eventually manifest, man. They, they own you, you know, but. Those demons are have you delusional thinking that you're still in the fold, man. That, that's scary as hell. It says, even so shall it be unto this wicked generation. That's why some of them, you know, they'll still even try to endure being in camps, but they're teaching a whole nother doctrine than what they've learned. That's one of the indicators to know that, you know, those guys definitely have been rejected from the Lord. And they're not teaching sound doctrine. They're teaching, you know, madness. Then, yeah, that's that's how you know, man. All right. So, hey, man. That's why that, that prayer in Psalms 51 is, is very important, man. You know, you pray that the Lord doesn't catch you from his presence and, and, and not to take his spirit from you, man. You know, and also Surak, the, um, was it the 23rd chapter, the first six verses of uh, Surak, the 23rd chapter. And you also want to pray that the Lord, you know, don't give, give you over to an impudent mind, you know, gluttony. Uh, to have a proud, you know, to to have a a proud look, you know, you want to you want to remain humble in this thing, and pray that the Lord continue to you know have put that fire into you to keep enduring until the end, man, because you you want salvation, all right, and that's what we all are striving for, man. And there's many more scriptures I can go into, but you know, this brother he brought it out, all right, uh, beautifully. He brought out all this, the right scriptures, you know, that bring the point home, you know. But hey, this is this is not the time, man. All right, that's scary as hell, man. We we at the end of this thing, man. They 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 literally about to bring the chip now. They they digit dig, digitizing your currency now. So it's already set up for you to uh, to take the mark of the beast now. All right, so we 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 we're, we're finally here, man. All right. So anyway, you know, I just want to, uh, you know, respond to, to to the video, and I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all, Bashem Yahushai. And until next time, I say, uh, Shalom.